creative energy and therefore our sexual energy is, is playful and of love. So when we are desiring to manifest, that is the, that is the energy, the alignment we want to be in. That's how we need to be feeling, to be feeling creative and playful and heartful and joy-filled. When we add things to that very refined energy such as fear and desperation and lack and distrust, it's no longer love and it's no longer playful. The energy of manifestation and is creativity and is sexual energy. They are, they are one thing and so when we are expressing this energy there is a sincerity about it. We are sincere in our expression but as soon as we've become serious as soon as we become attached seriously to that, we've dulled down and dimmed out that aliveness that wants to play and explore and be curious and be in awe. We, we can change our approach by allowing the ordinary to become extraordinary. And I've spoken of this before, it's a very childlike innocent quality, our creative energy and therefore our sexual energy. They're not separate things. Um, and that's really important to integrate and embrace and know within ourselves that this energy I'm feeling, this sexual energy I'm feeling is also my creative energy, it's source. Um, and it wants to play and it wants to be vibrant, and it wants to be alive, and it wants to be curious, and everything becomes extraordinary that has dulled down, dimmed out, and, and lost its vibrancy by us approaching it with, as if it's ordinary. I've spoken before about when a child picks up a rock on the beach and to the child it's the most magical thing it's ever seen and it tastes it and smells it and yeah it's just it's perfect and it's beautiful to the child and even though the whole beach is covered in pebbles to that child that pebble is extraordinary and when we really embrace this quality back into our lives, it brings that aliveness to our creativity again. And in that brings an aliveness to our sexual energy, which we then, as I've said, get to choose how we express that in the world. Are we going to create with that or are we going to share that playfulness and that, that creativity and that vitality and that vavoom and that aliveness with another? Um, we have lost the play in sex. It's become such a performance, such a thing to get right. It, we've allowed it to identify us in very limited and harmful ways rather than as a, identifying ourselves as a sexual being that has all this potential to create and express and explore and play and know ourselves more deeply and know others more deeply. Um, we've attached so much to sex and therefore we've attached so much to sexual energy. So yes, in manifestation, when it comes to creativity and um, 
our creative and our sexual selves, we, it's to come from a place of sincerity and not seriousness. And if we can be in love and in play and curiosity and wonder with that and uh, an exploration, then we can, the fear and desperation and need and focus and force that we can put into creativity and manifestation can soften. And with that, we actually become more receptive. And um, this is a big thing. It's about being receptive. Um, our mind is to be empty and receptive. Our heart space to be joyful and open and present and receptive. And our, our bellies, our sacral it's the feminine to be receptive, to conceive, to receive, so that we may, we may birth. And then the, there are feminine centers, and in our masculine centers is the, you know, where can we soften, where's our, our intention, what is our intention? Is it clear, where is it coming from? Can it be with love, can it support love? Um, it's really coming into alignment in our energy system, our chakra system, and not just with our thoughts and our feelings. Um, I know that I'm, it's a possibility that could, this could sound very complicated, but when it's coming from a feeling place, and we're not trying to work it out, and we're not coming from a headspace, it's actually very, very natural and, and really, 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 really flows because we were all doing this once upon a time as children and children still are. Um, and we've, we just let the external noise of the world and the external noise of should and shouldn't create disharmony. Um, it's essential to have trust um, in ourselves and trust in what we desire in our hearts, that calling, that desire. You know, if it's here, then not only do we want to experience what we desire wants to experience us and, and to trust that alignment that what we desire to experience also desires, desires to experience us. But the intent has to be of love and play and joy and receptivity. Um, and that's the feminine. Um, the receptivity and the love and the joy and the open heart and the, and the masculine is the pure intent and the focus and the absolute um, presence and alignment. Yeah, I, I would just say when you feel yourself coming into seriousness, when you feel you, you've not, you're not in radiance and aliveness, um, and then notice that with is to notice that within ourselves and and shift back into there's a sincerity, there's a devotion here. And there's this, I'm sincere in my intent. I'm sincere in my words. I'm sincere in my heart. I'm sincere in this direction, um, but not serious. Not serious.